Hi guys, Adi here. Uh, welcome back to the series. Uh, we are uh, coming really, really close to an end to the series. Our WordPress theme is almost complete. Uh, and last time we did some custom widgets. And today we'll do some short codes since, uh, you know, it's a very popular uh, component of a WordPress theme nowadays. Uh, they're really, really easy to do and we'll uh, cover the basic form at first and then turn uh, turn them into a plugin. So uh, we'll uh, make short codes for uh, buttons. Yeah, so we'll cover this. Uh, we'll make this button, the button blue, into a short code. And finally, we'll do the video container in a short code. Okay, pretty good. So uh, let's start in functions PHP right at the bottom. And I'm going to say require once. And we'll do another file inside the functions folder. And I'll call it shortcodes PHP. Okay, let's go to here, create the file. All right. So uh, let me just show you the uh, original form or the simplest form of a widget. Let's go to Hello World to HTML. And I'm going to do a widget called button. And we're going to transmit two, uh, two parameters. One of them is the color. In my case, it's going to be blue and it's going to be two equals, let's do HTTP okay and then we have the button text go to WP test plus okay and we'll close that button all right uh, next uh, let's do an HR and we'll do another short code for the video container. So basically for the video container, let's see, we need we need a div and we need to put this iframe inside it. Now the only thing that will be transmitting is the source. So I'll grab that and we'll do video embed. Okay, source equals this. All right, so let's hit update. All right, now if we open it, we're not seeing anything uh, except this raw code. So let's go to uh, our short codes PHP, and we're gonna start with the following statement. Add, actually we're gonna start with PHP. Uh, add short code. Okay, first one is uh, the ID or the handle, and in my case, it's going to be button. And the second one is going to be uh, the function that's used to return uh, the markup. In my case, I'll name it button as well. So let's do function button. And this will hold two parameters. The first one is ATTS for attributes. And the second one is content, which I'll default to null. Now content is uh, the stuff that we put, uh, let's see, the stuff that we put right here. All right. So inside the function, I'll do something like this, extract, and this holds an array. And I'll call a function called shortcode ATTS. Okay. And this one will receive two parameters. The first one is an array of default values. Yeah, so let's do array. Okay, 
default values. I'm going to do color. It's going to default to blue. And then two, which is the link of the button, which is going to default to nothing. Okay. And after this, I'm going to say ATTS. All right. So what we're doing here, um, we're kind of merging the ATTS array with an array with default values. So um, if values are missing from ATTS, they will be replaced with the default values. And then uh, that array is going to be taken by the extract function and made available for us to use. So the next step is to actually output some markup. So we'll say return and we'll use this. We'll, we're outputting a link basically, a href. Okay. And this will hold two. So the actual link. And then we'll do class equals button. And then we'll do a space and we'll put the color okay and now we'll close this and we'll do content yeah so we can put this text and then dot again and we'll close the anchor tag all right so let's see if we have a winner here go back here and there it is go to WP Tuts plus and that's how easy you make one um, one button if I want to change its color to gray all I got to do is go here and go gray update refresh and now it's a gray button Right now, this is uh, one type of short code. Yeah, it's the one where uh, you must also specify the the other part, the enclosing part. Uh, there is another type which doesn't have to be closed. Uh, you can just specify uh, the name and the attributes, and the other one. looks something like this. We'll do add shortcode again. Okay, it's called video embed. Let's actually do it with an underscore. All right, so video embed and the function is video embed as well. And as I said, this doesn't have to be the same name as its ID. You can give it whatever name you want. And then again, function, video embed. All right, only this time, we only have one parameter, ATTS. So I think you're spotting uh, the difference here. When we have the first type of shortcode, the one that needs a content, we're going to use the content uh, parameter. Uh, on the other one, we just need the attributes. So we're going to do something uh, very similar here. We're going to grab this. Uh, we'll do again extract shortcode ads and again source. We only have one parameter. Source will be defaulted to nothing. And then all we have to do is return a uh, div with a class of uh, video container. Yes. All right. And We'll do this, source, and then we'll close the div. 
it's that simple. So let's see it in action. And of course, this will return uh, the actual link to, to the YouTube video. All right, now obviously this is not an embedded video. So to do that, let's go over here, copy this iframe. delete this part all right I frame height source this is where we input our source okay and we're gonna close the iframe here and then we'll do slash diff. Okay, so now if we take a look at the code it generated, we have a div class video container with an iframe and the correct source. Okay, so that's how you make short codes really, really easy. Now, the thing with short codes. Uh, it's always a good idea to make them as a plugin. Yeah, so if you hard code them into your theme and the user changes theme and it depends on your short codes, then he's going to have broken content. But if you make them as a plugin, you can just port the plugin, install it, and even though it changes themes, uh, the short codes will still be there. All right. So let's turn this into a plugin. Now, uh, there's a very simple way to do that. Uh, you need to paste this. I had it ready for you guys. Okay, uh, you need to paste this piece of code uh, on top of your file. And it contains uh, the plugin information, like a plugin name, we'll call it adaptive uh, shortcodes, plugin URI, let's just do um, okay, description, plugin for displaying uh, shortcodes version and also you must include license information all right so we're gonna uh, grab this and take it from our functions folder and we're gonna move it in the plugins folder so create a new plugin a uh, new folder sorry call it adaptive shortcodes okay create a new file, call it shortcodes.php, paste it in, save, and close these both. So now go back to your themes. Let's go ahead and delete it from our functions page, from our uh, functions folder. Also remove its uh, reference from functions.php. So if we did everything right, uh, the, fun the short codes shouldn't work right now. And they aren't, and they, they are not recognized. So now let's go to our backend plugins. We have adaptive short codes because we copied it in the plugin folder, activate it, refresh, and now it's working again okay and that was it guys a uh, very quick video about how to use short codes and how to create a plugin I hope you liked it um, in the next video we'll talk about the theme customizer and we'll add some theme options right here uh, in the customizer and see how we can um, 
how we can benefit from this great, great feature. But until then, this is Adi signing out. Bye-bye.